away again on the cattle, um, I suppose, uh, to start, we'll try and get them out early in spring and get them onto good quality grass. Um, since I joined the programme, I would have been uh, concentrating maybe on setting up more paddocks and uh, keeping them on, on good quality grass throughout the summer. And um, also, uh, we're, we're trying to improve our silage quality um, so that uh, our meal bill isn't as big in that second winter when we're trying to finish the bulls. Uh, so good quality grass, good quality silage, not easy achieved, but if we can do that, I think it'll be a big bonus. The, the, the grass covers will be going into uh, around 14, 1500 kilo dry matter per acre, um, or per hectare, I think it is. And um, this is kind of all new to me now, this grass measuring and stuff. And, uh, we try and graze down to four centimetres, I think is ideal uh, graze, grazing out height. So we try and achieve that uh, as, as much as we can. As far as grass measuring is concerned, uh, I've started there since I started the programme two years ago. And uh, it took a while to get in on it, but uh, it, it's a great tool uh, as far as assessing what you have ahead of you. And uh, it's, it's a great way of knowing maybe when to take out paddocks. and. Uh, as a consequence of that, uh, even this bale of silage here, now we took out paddocks at the end of April this year. Uh, other years, I'd have been afraid to take them out because I wouldn't really know maybe uh, the amount of grass I had ahead of me, but um, it, it's a great way of, of giving you an idea of what's ahead of you. I suppose other advantages as far as grass measuring is concerned is, as I said, the, the, the quality um, of, of the grass and uh, you know exactly maybe when, when to go into a paddock or when to stay out of it, which maybe is more important, that you're not letting grass get too strong ahead of the cattle. And that in, in a week's time there, you, you could, you could um, sort of budget to take out a paddock or two uh, when you need to. So it, it's a great way of giving you an exact amount of grass or how much you have on the farm at any time. Now, as far as the grazing is concerned, um, we'd have improved our, our paddock management big time since I started in the group. Um, normally, we used to be moving maybe every week in, uh, as maybe in, depending on field size and whatever. Uh, but um, since, since last year now, I've put in a lot of paddocks. Uh, I suppose in total, we could have maybe 40 or 50 paddocks over three blocks of land. And uh, this year now, for the first time, we've started paddock raising the, the young calves on the aftergrass. So we have two blocks of land there now with aftergrass and the Sango group uh, are on one block there and they have 20 paddocks. So every two days maybe they're going into those and uh, as a consequence I've had to take some paddocks out of it there lately and uh, the, the other younger group of calves they, they are on 15 paddocks at the minute and uh, they are moving probably every day to two days depending on uh, the amount of grass and the weather but as a consequence of that now also we've, we've had to start uh, cutting a couple of paddocks there over even the last couple of days. Farmers participating in the Chagas Green Acres programme are encouraged to weigh their stock three times a year. So this means all stock are weighed at turnout, mid-season and housing. And this will give us an accurate um, analysis of how stock are performing and if they're hitting targets. So if you take the young calves in their first year when they arrive on farm at two, three to four weeks of age, from the time they arrive until the time they're turned out to grass, we aim to, for those calves to hit 0.7 of a kilo a day live weight gain. Their first season at grass, we target 0.8 of a kilo up until housing for the first winter. The first winter we target in and around 0.6 of a kilo a day. For a bull system such as this, which has been run on this farm here, we target a slightly higher level of weight gain of near 0.8 of a kilo a day. The second season we will be hoping um, at grass to hit around 1 to 1.1 kilos per day for our yearling stock. Uh, and for the final finishing period in a bull system such as this, we'll be hoping for in and around 1.4 to 1.6 kilos per day across a 120 day finishing period. For bullocks, we'll be looking at a slightly lower level of weight gain of in or 1.1 to 1.2 kilos per day with Frisians. This year's calves, if we look at the performance, are very similar to last year's on Martin's farm. Um, the, the level of weight gain on these calves would have been on fairly much on target uh, over the past number of years. Martin has put a lot of emphasis on calf rearing, the calf rearing stage. So they are hitting in and around 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of a kilo a day from the time they arrive on farm until currently, which is uh, nearing, nearing the end of the first grazing season. Really the areas where this farm needs to make improvements are over the first winter, 
We hope to increase the daily live weight gain up to around 0 0.7, 0 0.8 of the kilo a day. And in the second grazing season, we hope to get, achieve higher levels of weight gain of around 1.1 kilos per day at grass. This will hopefully give us a higher live weight entering the shed in late July of around 500 kilos live weight, uh, at which point the bulls will be put on a finishing diet uh, and will hopefully be finished there in around 120 days. Uh, if we look at these, these bulls behind, these have been housed for approximately 30 days. Uh, they're being, currently being built up on their finishing rations, so Martin is feeding these bulls uh, 73 DMD silage. At the minute, we're, we are giving them bale silage. It was baled in the month of April. It was a surplus paddock. Uh, this will be fed along with uh, five kilos a day of uh, finishing ration. Uh, we're using a high cereal mix here, around 75% cereals, 14% uh, uh, si protein and they will be built up to around maybe eight to nine kilos per day as the finishing period progresses, with the target of having a 340 kilo carcass at around 120 to 140 days or finishing period.